Good morning, Lebanon High School. I know you've heard that there is a new law about being on your phone in a school zone, and so we have Mr. McPeak, uh, who's going to share some more information with you about that so you understand it better. Hey guys, I uh, wanted to talk to you today a little bit about the new law that's going into effect. I know a lot of you've got questions. Uh, I'm going to read the law to you as it's written, and then we're going to go over some key parts of that. <clears throat> so basically, it says it's an offense. For a person to knowingly operate a motor vehicle in any marked school zone in this state when a warning flasher or flashers are in operation and talk on a handheld mobile telephone while the vehicle's in motion. It is a delinquent act for a person under the age of 18 years to knowingly operate a motor vehicle on any road or highway in this state and talk on a mobile telephone that is equipped with a hands-free device while the vehicle is in motion. Uh, so that's two parts, and there's this law goes on. You can see this is what laws look like. They're very long. Those two parts apply to you. Uh, the first part, operate a motor vehicle, okay? That means you are in the vehicle, it's turned on, it's driving, uh, or you're sitting waiting in the traffic line. So let's say we get in our car, uh, and we get and set in line for 20 minutes like we do every afternoon when we try to get out of here. While I'm sitting in that line, I'm operating a motor vehicle, okay? So I can't take my phone out, okay, and I can't call. Uh, I'm not supposed to be texting. That's a law that's already been on the books, you know, about that. Uh, <clears throat> now, it says when a warning flasher or flashers are in operation, what that means is an active school zone. So this is a school zone all the time, anywhere around the school, but it's not active all the time. What that means is uh, approximately 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after first bell and last bell, respectively, uh, this school zone becomes active. So the flashers on the road are on, uh, they're telling drivers to slow down, the speed limits come into play. Now speed limits are pretty well set around the school. Uh, their speed limit signs up, you know what those speed limits are. But as far as this law goes, as long as the zone is not active, uh, you are not necessarily uh, violating this law uh, unless you get to the second part we're about to get to in a second. The second part uh, where it says it's a delinquent act for a person under the age of 18 years of age. This has actually been on the books for a couple of years. Uh, if you are under 18, which the vast majority of you are, and you are driving on the street, you cannot be talking on the telephone, okay? If you were stopped at a red light, you cannot be talking on the telephone, okay? Um, anytime you're driving that vehicle, you can't be on the telephone if you're under 18 years of age. Basically, we had a law that said that, and this law kind of wrapped that law up and, and took it over. So that old law is now gone and this new law is in its place. So that's what I said that there would be some differences because anytime you guys that are under 18 years old are on school grounds or any state highway or roadway, uh, you cannot be with the phone on your ear. Okay, uh, This will be enforced. There will be people that get written for it. Uh, it is a $50 fine, could be, and it's a Class C misdemeanor. It'll be a day in traffic court that you don't want to have to spend. Please wait until you get out of the school zone to place any phone calls. If you're over 18, if you're under 18, uh, make those phone calls before you begin to operate your vehicle. All right, so uh, let's say you get a citation. Uh, one other thing to consider, uh, this Class C misdemeanor will go on your driving record. Uh, it will give you points on your license, which could go towards you losing that license. It will also make your insurance go up. Uh, you as a teen driver are already a high-risk uh, insured motorist. So your insurance is higher than my insurance or another adult's insurance. It's quite a bit higher. If you go to getting tickets, especially for laws like this that directly reflect safety, your insurance company is going to 
hijack those rights up, okay, and could drop you and your parents uh, as a client. So that's something to keep in mind and remember. They don't have to represent you at any time. They can say, hey, we don't, you know, you're getting too many tickets. We don't want you with our company anymore. And you have to go get insurance somewhere else, and it would be very difficult to do. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, you can come to me at any time. You can come to Deputy Burton at any time. You can ask us, and we'll be happy uh, to explain things to you. Thank you for letting me talk with you today. So there you have it. Now you know what to do. Make sure you remember that applies to you, your parents, teachers. That's you too. Anybody driving in an active uh, school zone.